Hi folks, Andy here from NI Kayak Angler. Happy New Year to you all. Um, just busy, I'll do a wee quick video here. Uh, I'm off work at the moment with a bad back. I'm only off for a couple of days basically. I sort of hurt my back last week. Struggled on through work last week. I'm just not helping anything. So, I ended up having to go to the doctors this morning and get sorted out. So, I should be back to work for Thursday. Um, all going well. Uh, the doctor has me on some nice fuzzy painkillers that well, I'm not allowed to drive basically while I'm taking them. So, until that course of painkillers are done, I'm stuck around the house. So, going stir crazy as uh, I haven't been able to get out in the kayak this weekend, despite the fact that the weather was actually lovely, calm, settled conditions. A wee bit overcast, but it was cold but settled. It would have been a great weekend to get out for a wee bit of fishing. Uh, I was unable to. So I've been sitting in the house today, on me Todd, wondering what the heck I'm going to do uh, to keep my mind occupied. So I hatched myself a little calling challenge uh, for the start of this year. Pretty much what I want to do, uh, it's been a long time since I've targeted pike and perch. So that's going to be my wee personal challenge this year is perch and pike fishing as well as all the other sort of stuff we're generally be doing out and uh, out and about uh, with the boys mostly sea fishing i want to fish a lot of the competitions this year and stuff but my main focus this year i want to do is just a wee personal challenge for myself is just to revisit pike and perch fishing you absolutely love lure fishing for pike never had any real big fish lure fishing I think my best was about six or seven pound when lure fishing. Nothing really bigger than that. Mostly just all jacks, a couple of pounds, you know, maybe sort of four pound, five pound, really being a, a good fish. I did really get one sort of seven pound. It was really uh, good fun and light lure gear. So I want to go back and revisit that because it was fun, it was enjoyable. <coughs> but I would always went out with an arsenal of lures and a lure bag stacked to the gills of lures and half a suitcase of stuff with me, rods galore, everything. And this year I want to do things, I want to go back to it and I want to do things a wee bit differently here. <coughs> so I want to tackle pike and perch fishing but I want to do it really simply, lure fishing but minimal. So I've selected my two rods for the challenge. For the pike fishing I have my Browning Safari. It's a HTSC20. Um, it's a medium heavy uh, fast action bait casting rod. It is a travel rod. It's a three piece, seven foot. Uh, lure weight three eighths to one ounce. So a nice handy rod that covers a good range of uh, stuff and has, uh, has enough backbone on it to, uh, to tackle larger fish as well uh, as give a bit of sport on uh, on smaller stuff. That rod is teamed up with an Abu Garcia Black Max uh, and 20 pound braid. For perch we are going to be using my Eagle Claw Trail Master. This is a 6 foot 6 spinning rod, uh, medium action. The lure weight on this one is 3 sixteenths to half an ounce, so much lighter lures, some more stuff, and that is teamed with an Optics 20 uh, fixed spool. Lure wise, for the perch, well, lure wise in total actually. This is going to be my lure box. This is what I'm going to allow myself to take. Lures I can fit in here. So for perch, small jelly worms, or small sort of minnow imitation, all rig, Texas rig basically, weedless as well as much as possible. Um, so that's perch lures. That's the only two styles of lures 
I am going to allow myself a small jelly worm and that those small metal pattern. So I've got a few of those kicking about, a ton of these kicking about. So those are the only two lures styles that I'm going to allow myself to use. Pike fishing, we are going to go for imitation sort of frog to patterns. That one, which I have plenty of. I think that's a yum bait if I remember rightly. Uh, um, small lizard patterns. And the other one is actually on the, the rod at the moment. The pike rod, which is that frog pattern, which I have a few of. So, two different sort of frog patterns and a lizard pattern. That's it. Wire trace, 20 pound braid. That's the pike setup. And. Small lures and I think that's eight pound model for the uh, for the perch setup. So that's the plan. So basically, what's that? One, two, three, four, five different uh, lure patterns between perch and pike. And of course, I will be taking my usual cameras. I've got my head mounted one for. I will be fishing both from the shore and kayak in this. At the moment this camera we're currently recording this on is one of these cameras but it's just at the moment mounted on a tripod so on a bank fishing it'll be uh, this camera on the tripod I'll be using and my usual customary bow mounted camera on the kayak in conjunction with the head stop mount as well. That's the plan, that's what we're going to do. Here's hoping it works so keep an eye out for the videos coming up guys um, hopefully once my back sorts itself out again it could take a couple of three weeks before my back's fully back that's full strength again uh, pull a lot of muscles in my lower back so I can't kayak I can't even lift the kayak I'm not allowed to do any heavy lifting and stuff I'm actually not allowed to drive for the next uh, well today and the next two days I'm on painkillers up I'm not allowed to even drive on, so I'm stuck with the house. So I'm just going to sit and tinker about and uh, sort all my gear out, get everything ready for the, uh, for the upcoming season. A couple of rod rings I need to redo and a few bits like that. So I have enough tackle uh, related stuff to keep me busy for a couple of days anyway. And then uh, I'll be back to work on Thursday. And uh, From that point, hopefully then, I'll be able to maybe get a wee bit of, uh, of bank fishing in. And we'll try and see what we can get. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. So we'll start with the uh, with the bank fishing. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, if my back's up to it next weekend, um, we'll uh, we'll see what happens. And then as soon as my back is well enough and is uh, is back to its full strength again, uh, we'll get the kayak back out and uh, see what we can get with it. We'll also be still doing a bit of fishing offshore and stuff as well. Uh, we'll still be sea fishing. Uh, it's got a lot of offshore wrecks we want to hit again uh, soon, so in between the fresh water we'll still be doing the normal salt water stuff, uh, myself, Stephen and hopefully Gareth and a couple of other friends will be out and about. So, talk to you soon, keep an eye on the YouTube channel guys, there should be more stuff coming up then, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, depending on what way my back is, but uh, I'll keep you updated by uh, Facebook and whatever and let you know when we'll be getting out and about again. Happy New Year to all! Um, tight lines for 2017 doll and we'll, uh, we'll catch us later. Oh, and uh, here's Snickers coming to join the party. Or more likely, see if she can get herself a roll of tip and play well. Catch you later guys, happy new year and tight lines.